Hello, I saw you are a self-taught artist and I saw some of your art and you're really good. I also do art but I'm horrible at drawing hands. Would you mind telling me how you draw your hands? Uh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I mean, I'm not good at drawing hands too either, but you know what? I, I do know how to draw it, but I'm bad at teaching at the same time. But I'll try because you are you need the male help anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope this video helps you a lot. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm so away. I'm so away. <laughs> Alright, let's start. So basically, if you're someone who's really horrible at drawing hands, I would recommend getting a hand model, which is this one from Amazon. I got that one from Amazon. Just to be clear, I'm only recommending this if you already tried using your own hands as your own model and it doesn't really help you out because sometimes you have to do some positions in your fingers and you just couldn't do it and it's really impossible for you to do it so yeah an alternative for this one is the hand model so as you can see it's pretty much the same thing as your hand and the hand model for the own features and the only difference is that you're able to see the joints of the fingers which is actually helpful for you um you'll know what i mean when you have it yourself but yeah um it's actually helpful trust me <laughs> so this one is the other hand and like i said it's pretty much the same thing and what i like about this is that it has the nails as well and it's really really cool and I don't know i just find it helpful for me at least anyway so the next thing that you should know when you're drawing hands is that your best friend is going to be shapes yes yes shapes the reason why shapes is going to be helpful for you because this is going to be your base guideline for your drawing all right so the next thing that you're going to do is to shape in your hand model and of course you're going to need a paper and a pencil the usual pencil that i use is 4b and 2b but for this video we're going to use 2b all right so since you have the hand model i would also recommend using your own hand so that you'll be able to train your mind as well to like make a imaginary shape and it will train you to one day you're not going to be needing the hand model anymore because you can already think about it like you can make your own imagination out of it Okay, so common mistakes like this happens. You just need to identify a line for the position of the fingers, like what I'm showing you right now. So sometimes, like I said, I don't really draw hands, so common mistakes really happens with me. But I am able to fix it in no time anyway. So yeah, as long as you need, you have your lines and your shapes, then you'll be fine. Once you're done with the drawing of the hand, you'll be able to identify the right outlines of the hand. So when you're confident with your finishing touches, then that's when you can just do the outline using markers or ball pens.
okay so let's do another position of the hand which is just like a high five thing so basically your hands are facing your face and since we're doing shapes obviously we're going to do a circle and we're just gonna do this shape thingy that looks like a rectangle <laughs> for the fingers So I'm going to put together a simple note for the hand's anatomy so it will be easier for you to remember each part whenever you're going to draw your hands. Remember, practice makes perfect. I recommend using a whiteboard for practice so that yeah, now you're not gonna be wasting paper. And I don't know, it's just for me. But if you want to use the paper and at the same time you want to, to make it as your own record, then yeah, sure, you can do that, whatever. <laughs> So for me, whenever I draw hands, I also try to draw a skeleton looking thingy fingers and it's like the hand model itself, like even the joints, like I also draw it draw that too because I find it I find it helpful for me at least. So maybe if you try it it might work for you as well. Remember to use shapes or lines and keep practicing until you don't feel the need for references. Like I'm serious, keep practicing, you got this. Anyway guys, that's it for this quote-unquote tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!